Uh, hi, I'm Sam Rubin. I'm an infrastructure dev at Coinbase. Actually, a lot of the infrastructure team is here. There's out there scattered on the audience, uh, sitting over there. Um, quick background, Coinbase is a cryptocurrency exchange. We sell Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, and Ethereum. Got about 20 million users. These users are all coming to the site to transact in digital currency every day. So as you can imagine, we have a huge amount of money moving through our systems. And we're not a bank. If someone takes cryptocurrency, ships it off somewhere else, there's no reversing it. So how can we keep this safe? If we get hacked, that's kind of it for our company. Basically, our number one priority is don't get hacked. So one tool that we use is consensus. What I mean by consensus is essentially agreement. Consensus is the idea that if you have multiple people agreeing on something, multiple people giving oversight to something, you'll end up with better results. Maybe you can provide an extra level of protection just because you have more eyes on it. So the most basic level for an engineer in their experience for this is just going to be a plus one. You go to GitHub, you open a pull request, um, you want to get something merged, you ship it off to one of your coworkers, your colleagues, you say, hey, can you take a look at this, get a review, give me a plus one, we can merge this to master. With the cryptocurrency ecosystem, it's a little bit different. Consensus means all the nodes agree on one state. So for example, with Bitcoin, all the Bitcoin nodes agree, okay, this is the state of the Bitcoin database. We come to consensus, we agree on it. So how can you use this to protect your company? Well, one quick and easy way is to just block merges to master unless they've received a pull request review. This is built in GitHub functionality. You can add this super easily, prevent something from being pushed out unless it has some level of oversight. So at Coinbase, we take this really seriously. We like to think our engineers are good people, but we understand a threat can come from anywhere. So we really have to be prepared. We built a lot of tooling around this. So on this next slide here, you can see, it looks like a fairly innocuous banner. Just kind of announces, okay, we've got this new product. We're launching Ethereum and Litecoin vaults. But actually, this banner itself is locked behind consensus. So for example, imagine if someone were to take out a short position on Bitcoin on a different exchange and then change the banner to say this, sell all your Bitcoin. This could throw the markets into a frenzy. Bitcoin price drops off, someone makes a ton of money, we lose a lot of trust. This is something we're really trying to avoid. So we actually lock this behind multiple people's approval. So this is Heimdall for those of you who haven't seen Thor. This is a tool that we use at Coinbase to actually protect our deploys. So what Heimdall does is checks and ensures that all pushes, all commits, before they go out to production have been reviewed by at least one person. It's enforced. We even use this for our configuration management. So here you can see I'm changing a couple environment variables, uh, adding like a new test. But actually, we need consensus for this as well. You can see there's plus one zero reject in the lower right hand corner. We actually stop people from pushing out even environment changes. Um, another tool that we use is Shamir secret sharing. This is a cool little tool. Basically it says, if you have a line, any two points, you can form a line, any three points, you can form a parabola, so on for different polynomials. So if you have a master key that represents a polynomial, you can actually give points on that line as subkeys. So say, uh, I distribute keys to Ted, Sarah, and Alice. They may all actually have to come together to reconstruct that master key. So you can enforce consensus by passing out keys that reconstruct a larger key. This is cool because it actually allows you to do subsets as well. You can say only have Ted and Sarah come to agreement or only Sarah and Alice and still access the master key. So one place that we use this is in uh, our Bitcoin hot wallet, Knox. This is uh, cool because it allows us to distribute keys around the world, keep them safe, and you have to have multiple people, a, a large amount of people to actually take the funds from this wallet. It protects it. The master key has actually never been seen by a human being. We actually destroyed the hardware that it was generated on. This thing's super protected, distributed around the world. Consensus gives us this ability. So consensus is really cool because it allows you to add this extra oversight, but it adds very little friction for your developers. Here, you know, the basic form of consensus is as simple as tapping you know, your colleague on the shoulder or shooting them a message in Slack, asking for a plus one. I think it's pretty cool, pretty easy. So where are we taking this next? Uh, we like to open source a lot of the stuff that we're working on. Uh, we notice that there's really kind of an absence of tooling in this area. So hopefully we'll have some of these tools out there soon. We're hoping to get Heimdall pushed out pretty quickly. Um, thanks for listening, everyone. Uh, if you guys have questions or just want to chat with me about consensus, please feel free to come up and talk to me. Also, you, you can email me. My email's at the bottom right there. Thank you. <laughs>